Hi, welcome to another episode of PSD TV. I'm your host, Alex Paul, and today I'm at the ChargePoint booth at CES with Simon Lonsdale and Kevin Doyle, and we're gonna talk a little bit about EV charging. That's a pretty big thing to be dealing with, isn't it? Hey, Alex, we've been doing this a long time, and we are the world leaders in EV charging. So what we're here at the show talking about is our new Express Plus charging family. I'll cut right to the chase for you. 400 kilowatts from here into the car. 500 kilowatts of DC power from the power cube out to, to the vehicles in these cars. So we're talking about some real power here in the EV charging space. These systems are ready for tomorrow's cars for at least the next 10 years. Now, and that's a very good point, Simon. Thank you very much. Now, those are very impressive figures. Now, I understand you're the technical person here, Kevin. Could you tell me a little bit about some of the challenges you had to deal with in getting that point? Well, one big challenge is getting 400 amps through a cable that a normal person can actually lift. What we have is liquid-cooled cables, and that allows us to keep a small cable size and push 400 kilowatts of power through that cable. Cooler cables, smaller copper, easier to lift. That makes a lot of sense. I'm very surprised that that's not an approach other companies have gone with. Well, it's a difficult problem to solve, um, so, and, and it's a very new technology. So these are things that we're developing um, that are cutting edge and really going to push the industry forward. Very cool. Now, how about deployment? How are, you, how is your, how are your deployment plans going? So uh, deployment we try and make as easy as possible. These systems are very modular. And so inside them are AC to DC power modules that convert power 31 kilowatts at a time. This unit can have two of them inside it. This unit can have 16 of them inside it. It's like a blade server. You just plug in these modules as you need them. And that makes the installation much easier. You come in, you drop these units in, you connect to the 480 volt three phase AC coming in either into the cube or directly into the station, and DC power comes out at the, at the port. So the installation is relatively easy. It's a construction project uh, like many others. Very cool. Now, what's the functionality set it does? The charging, of course, sets the, um, checks the battery state. Are there any complexities beyond that? Well, yeah, I mean, the DC protocols, so not only do we have to implement uh, both protocols, but each protocol has all kinds of subtleties. So the, the CCS protocol is actually a layer of multiple protocols sitting on top of each other. Um, so at the software level, uh, in, you know, in addition to solving the problems around 400 kilowatts going through this cable, we have to have we have to solve a lot of software issues around getting all of these protocols to talk to all of the different vehicle types. We test with vehicles from all the different manufacturers, um, and you know, those are just the combination of these problems to solve makes it a very difficult problem to build. Very cool, but you've obviously solved them. So what's next? <clears throat> so I just want just want to carry on on what Kevin was saying. You have to remember that in EV charging, the car is in control. So the car says, I need this much voltage, this much current. And if we don't deliver exactly to those parameters, the car will cut it off. So the car is in control, which is the great place to be. That's what you want. The car needs to manage its battery, its heat, how much power is going into the battery is variant on, on how much charge is already in those batteries. So that's what the digital communications does back to here. And we're able to throttle both voltage and current into the car through this system. Very cool. So what's the next step? So the next step is, as you say, getting these deployed. Um, Tesla is, is a great example of putting out national network of high-speed charging. Before a consumer will buy a large battery electric vehicle, they need to see this charging in the ground. So that's what we're busy working on now, is getting this deployed with our partners out at a national scale so that you can, everywhere you drive, whether it's you're charging at home, whether you're charging at work, or whether you're charging on the go for long distance, you have that charging confidence that you can drive your EV everywhere. Excellent. And so where do they go to get more information? Uh, go to chargepoint.com. Come to CES and see us if you're local to Las Vegas. But anytime, we're, we're all across the country and up in Canada as well. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for taking the time to spend with us in a very busy show. Alex, thank you. Thank you very much. Great to talk. And I'd like to thank everybody out there in the audience for taking the time to be with us. We wouldn't be here without you. Tell your friends. This is Alex Paul for Power Systems Design. Have a great day. We in?